So we're getting towards the end of Friday at the project teams gathering. Uh, this week, projects have been discussing what's coming next. And I have with me several members of the Cinder team. If you all could introduce yourselves and tell us uh, what organizations you work for, um, and give us a real brief overview of what Cinder is. My name is Ildi Govancha. I'm working for the OpenStack Foundation as Ecosystem Technical Lead, and my main activities within Cinder is around volume multi tech so I'm representing also the cross-project collaboration activities. Cool. Um, Patrick East, I uh, work for Pure Storage, so I work on upstream Cinder for adding features, as well as maintaining our storage integrations, things like that. Um, John Griffith, I work for NetApp, I used to be part of SolidFire. Um, I work on Cinder, um, all kinds of different projects. I've been working on Cinder for, since the beginning. Well, let's start looking backwards. Tell us what you all accomplished during the Pike cycle. Yeah, so um, maybe we'll just pick some, some things out that each of us has worked on a little bit. Um, I spent most of my time uh, this cycle writing some new attachment APIs. So um, our existing attachment workflow and APIs um, have been around a long time, uh, but they're not great when you want to do things like multi-attach. So I uh, spent most of the cycle working on uh, uh, not only implementing those new attachment APIs on the center side, but also helping with uh, implementing the new changes on the other side as well. Yep. And then uh, some cool features that went in. There's uh, what we call tiramisu replication, which is our volume groups that uh, we now allow replication on that. It goes along with our Cheesecake replication, which was the old volume based one. Um, we like dessert. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is a very dessert oriented group. Uh, and there's also been a bunch of enhancements for our, uh, along with the attach detach APIs, for the actual attach detach for iSCSI multi pathing, these kind of things. Uh, a few of the guys from Red Hat have been doing a ton of work on that, and uh, it's it's good good changes. Everyone, I think, will like that. A lot of great fixes. Yep. I was participating in the new attach uh, API activities and uh, I'm the forward-looking uh, member in the sense of uh, driving some discussions between the Cinder and Nova group in order to uh, have APIs uh, which can interact uh, with each other easily. Uh, so we had a few rounds with the new attach API in order to make it on one hand still simple but on the other hand something that provides enough information for the consumers to do uh, different things and uh, just support different use cases like how Nova has not just attaching and detaching the volume but also moving instances around which makes life harder when it comes to cross project and cross service um, collaboration and interaction. Now this week you've been looking forward toward the Queen's release. Uh, what are some of the things that you expect to be focusing on in the coming six months? Um, it's a pretty good list, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, I think one of the biggest things for me, um, and, and probably Ildiko, and actually probably a lot of people, um, is going to be finishing all the attach work and actually turning on multi-attach um, in Cinder and Noah. Um, that's going to be a big thing. That's something that uh, Users have asked us about and wanted for a really long time. Uh, we've been working on different approaches for a long time, so I think I think that's probably going to be one of the one of the really big focuses uh, for for quite a few of us. Yep. And so, like the attachment stuff, right? everyone's looking forward to that. Some sort of uh, less cool things. We're we're looking at fixing up some uh, some of the ways that we do like our quota management, things like that internally, trying to get that a little more consistent and bit better. Um, there's stuff with uh, doing our like our older cheesecake style replication. There's uh, there's some features there that are a little a little bit lackluster for a complete disaster recovery solution. So there's uh, some efforts going on to kind of round that out, make sure we get the whole life cycle in there. Um, trying to think of what other 
kind of cool, backup cooler features. Yeah, generic backup drivers, things like that, the ability to back up to any Cinder backend from another one. Um, and what else? Those are the big ones. Those and uh, some efficiencies to our micro version yes. scheme that we're doing. Yeah. Uh, so we're using micro versions in our API and we're going to try and clean that up, make it a little user friendly, a little more user friendly. Fix some internal implementation things. Wow. Speaking of internal implementation <laughs> things, <laughs> HA. So oh, huge one. Yeah, so there's been a lot of work going on in the last few releases to get Active Active Cinder working. So Active Active Cinder APIs, Cinder Volume Service, Cinder Scheduler, everything in a nice cluster, durable state. Um, one thing that we're kind of missing right now is all the volume drivers. So you can run Cinder Volume Services, Active Active, but the drivers aren't quite there yet. So some of them, it's different states. Some are ready to go, but we haven't tested them, and some are going to need a lot of work, and we need to, whereas a team trying to define how we test that, what sort of things we do, and like how, how we can get to where we release this, uh, be confident that it's going to work. Yeah. And uh, as for internal things, uh, there are also some changes to the documentation things, but uh, from user perspective, that should just make it uh, even more readable, up to date, and maintained than how it used to be. If uh, individuals or organizations want to know more about the project or get involved, where should they look? What mailing list should they be on? What IRC channels? So uh, the Cinder team is, of course, on IRC, like all the other projects, uh, found OpenStack Cinder. Um, that's the best place to go to get started. Um, there are plenty of getting started docs for Cinder out there, um, and then of course there's the OpenStack uh, mailing list. Yeah, and we do you know, we we weekly meetings, uh, you know, Wednesday mornings for us, it's on, the, on our wiki pages, uh, and now that we've kind of moved all of our docs in tree, we've got really good starting points for either contributing, using, adding new stuff, anything you want to do, it's all kind of one place. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, good luck in the coming cycle. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.